Hi guys, uh, just had my cash and I just walked through the door. So as you can see, I'm still in my formals and I wanted to give you a picture of what is happening in cash and I wanted all the information to be there, everything raw and fresh as it is in my mind. So that's what I thought I should uh, make the video first and then get on with everything else. Okay. So, um, first of all, whoever is taking public transport, I myself, if first of all, if your center is in Noida, Knowledge Park 3, CA Simulation Center, okay, if that's the one, um, I personally went by metro to Botanical Garden metro station and then I had booked a cab for, for, by taxi for sure, okay, so guys, uh, Forgive me if I'm a little bit crude over here. Cut me some slack. I had a very tiring day. Okay. So, yeah. That's how I went. I booked a cab from there. And uh, other options are you can take a bus to Parichok. And from Parichok you can take a rickshaw. Okay. So, that's. And uh, one, uh, one very important thing is like. Um, do not ask around for CA simulation center. Because nobody knows where that is. The building itself is in the name of interglobe so you can ask around for interglobe okay and uh, when you come along you'll see a circle on the left side you will be noticing a big hospital it's called um, shraddha or something like that not exactly sure okay also when you reach the circle take a u-turn okay once you've taken the u-turn you can see a big building and it has written interglobe on top of it on your left okay so ask around for interview so that's it so once you reach there you will have to give your photo id proof so they'll keep it with them so don't forget to take it along with you when you're coming back okay so and uh, once all the participants for the session have reached they will take you into a room and you'll be briefed okay and uh, after that you start with you one by one Okay. I had my flying task first so I'll go ahead and tell you how the flying task was and all that stuff right I have drawn an image okay I've drawn it basically as a mirror image so that uh, when I'm recording this video it should be coming up straight I hope it's fine right can you see this okay so this here top one this is the HUD head up display and all three monitors together will give you the cockpit view and here on your uh, left side okay you will have your question screen okay it's and uh, i know it's showing it's on when you're viewing it it's the left side okay the question screen and then on your right side you will have the navigation screen and again on your uh, uh, you have your throttle and your joystick also on your right side you have the joystick on the left hand is the throttle and here you'll have a number pad where you need to enter the number values of some questions okay so this uh, number pad is basically a wireless number pad so you cannot move it exactly on the right side so if you are right handed you think you can use your uh, right hand you'll have to use your left hand basically Okay, you can move it a little bit around uh, they let you keep it within a specified area a little bit all right so that's uh, how the whole thing is and uh, one more thing when you guys are practicing or something uh, in case you have the good fortune of having more than one screen to practice with uh, you can see the question screen and the nav screen are perpendicular to these three screens so it's not inclined so that you can have a better uh, view of it it's exactly at 90 degrees both the screens okay all right and both those uh, question and nav screens are a little bit smaller than the big monitors right in front of you all right and uh, before each and every stage they will specifically brief you like first of all um, she, uh, whoever is taking your flying task, she will be briefing you about um, what all will be happening and uh, 
she will also tell you how you can utilize her also like for example uh, as you know you will be getting a pin to remember you can tell her to remember the pin she specifically tell you that you can ask her to remember the pin before the mission 2 starts so mm, yeah so let's start off the first was the question screen so they let you familiarize with it so first they'll show you a couple of examples of some questions and then a couple of practice questions as well which you need to answer so that is fine actually if you don't know the answer you can just uh, go ahead and say pass and then next is the um, sender screen okay sorry sender screen um, where you will be familiarizing yourself with the flying and the throttle and the joystick actually as such just flying only the throttle and the joystick are fine okay you will be able to maintain uh, whatever they ask and uh, they'll give you opportunity to practice your turns and climbs and descents whenever you're doing that they expect you to call out okay so that's one thing and uh, just don't think that it's just a practice session so you can do whatever you want uh, something that happened with me i wasn't calling out exactly and then the pnf uh, she told me you need to tell me what you're doing All right so that's it and uh, on the right side okay, and uh, you need to look at the big picture okay because outside there will be traffic there will be terrain everything you need to have a look at the big picture and especially when you're banking and all uh, having a look at the screen will help you better because it's a bigger picture actually when you're um, looking at the question screen and doing stuff also simultaneously right uh, instead if you're going to into the specifics and you know exactly i'm going to maintain this bank all the time you'll not be able to do that i'm telling you right away frankly okay and uh, next is the nav screen they'll explain you what it is and all that and uh, this one more thing called a target time also at the bottom so even uh, it's a little the thing as in suppose there is a leg time of uh, Uh, one minute thirty seconds. So another one and a half minutes you are supposed to reach, and all of a sudden the target time will blink and it will uh, show you some time. Okay, so it is independent of the leg time, and uh, they exp- once the uh, target time pops up, they expect you to reach your waypoint within that time frame. Okay, so you can increase speed and all that. You can just tell. You need to tell them, right? Okay, and. Uh, Apart from that, yeah. So that's uh, and they'll uh, tell you how to when you should uh, click on the waypoint, tap on the waypoint actually, and all that. They'll brief you about it. So once these three are done, they'll start with the mission one. Okay. Uh, mission one. Lot of questions will keep coming. Questions are not exactly as tough as I thought it'd be, but I don't know how tough uh, is it in your mind. So. and uh, mathematical questions I, i was able to do all the mathematical questions actually and a lot of stroke test questions also i was able to do it and uh, somewhere in between uh, mm, i was like you know uh, i need to focus on flying so i was i was like okay i need to fly this plane i cannot afford to crash it so i let some of the questions go by also they were um, like very easy ones also but either i didn't hear the question or i didn't check the answer so that happens a lot of questions were missed and all that but i think i did uh, okay okay in the mission 1 it's a little slower and all that in uh, mission 2 you will get more questions the fuel calculation questions also will be there uh, fuel calculation questions they will ask you how much is your fuel and uh, all the questions uh, your pnf will not be asking all the questions questions will be asked uh, by the computer itself okay so uh, you need to listen to his voice sometimes some words but it's not an indian accent obviously so it is a little bit uh, difficult maybe a little bit difficult to understand so you need to hear it properly also mm. like uh, and then they'll give you the pin also yes the pin all of a sudden it will be given when you're not expect as in they'll tell you that the pin would be given to you at the starting of mission 2 but uh, 
you will be given the pin actually once you started flying and the questions are also coming okay and then all of a sudden from the background uh, your pin number is 4 1 like that okay so you need to listen carefully because once that is missed you miss all the pin number questions and you can as i told you earlier you can uh, ask your pnf to remember the pin also okay so apart from that uh, when you are doing the stroop test questions uh, on the background the computer will keep calling out some random colors just forget it and i assure you it is not at all difficult to disregard the computer because you have so many things going all right so that's one thing yes and then on your left screen there is the there's something written in green color called active whenever it turns red you need to press it so that's there mm, and then fuel calculation questions come and uh, you need to make the calculation uh, tell her how much is your expected fuel and you need to enter it also on the number pad okay so that's one thing and they will in between ask you how much do you think is your score i think i got those wrong mm, couple of times and uh, once i got it right also I mean, actually i whatever i calculated in my mind was right only but by the time i entered and you go for delete and all it's gone okay that happens so mm, that also happen then apart from that um, i think uh, what else is there yes one important thing like when i was practicing uh, the head up display okay uh, what happened is one of my waypoints uh, was a airfield okay now i was uh, i turned on to my uh, waypoint and i just saw another black thing and i did hear it was an airfield okay but then it just went out of my mind because there were so many things uh, apparently i was focusing on you know getting the feel of the throttle and all that so what happened here is um mm, i flew on to another waypoint uh, it was a communication tower okay so then my pnf asked me are you visual with the waypoint i said uh, affirmative yes so she was like uh, what is your waypoint and i read it out over there okay now what happened here is like mm, let's suppose this was my third waypoint was uh, the fa okay and my fourth uh, waypoint was another power station suppose all right so the third station i thought was the communication tower which actually was the airfield so once i crossed the communication tower which was right close to the airfield okay maybe off by another 10 degrees or so i pressed the waypoint okay but uh, the airfield was little ahead okay so then Uh, what happened is uh, to my next leg time was increased understand and then she was asking what is your waypoint so i said uh, power station she was like what was your previous waypoint i said uh, com tower communication tower she was like no it was the f okay so you guys need to keep that in mind like what exactly you are supposed to find okay it will be written on the nav screen what you are aiming at so you can check that and then have a look at it just don't aim for anything that you see right so that's one thing mm, and uh, yeah the number pad is mostly like a calculator only so those of you who want to practice can keep the calculator on your left side and practice at home okay and uh, what else is there mm, yes uh, you need to remember your fuel at the end of the leg which i did not do okay they will ask you in your debrief and uh, apart from that i was lucky enough to get uh, mathematical sums like 50% of 1000 10% of 150 so all those were simple uh, but i asked in my debrief i told her that uh, the mathematical questions were not as difficult as i thought they would be so she asked me how much did, what kind of questions did you expect i said i was expecting like 70% of 132 and all that she's like you just got lucky such questions do come okay so um, yeah i guess i got lucky in that case and uh, what else um, yes in the mission 2 there will be a lot of terrain and a lot of traffic so you keep calling out yes and then one more thing um, 
my head up display actually was to the left corner of the screen and i did not call out so in the debrief they asked me uh, was there any issue with your head up display i said yes it was on the left side and she asked me why didn't you call out so um, all those things are important but there just basically too much of stuff so so that uh, you may miss out something try not to miss out the basic stuff like this and what else um, i guess um, that's it in case you have any doubts feel free to ask me comment below okay and uh, don't forget to hit and uh, hit uh, sorry hit like and subscribe okay i think i was able to give you all the information freshly okay so now let me just go back and relax i've had a hell of a day 3 hours up journey another 3 hours down journey and then it was gas okay but um, at the end of the day if you ask me how it went i would say it was obviously it was gas so i mean uh, i did mess up but uh, i don't think anybody is there who did not mess up so i guess you can basically chill okay um, as long as i i made one thing was for sure i was like i'm not going to crash my aircraft right so i promise you that even if you practice very well and go there okay you will not be able to maintain your altitude your speed or your direction you may get lost in between in that case you can ask for vectors to your pnf okay i mean uh, when you are turning on to your next waypoint then then you get engrossed in doing some questions you forget to roll out happens in that case you can ask your pnf no big deal you can ask her for vectors okay so um, i guess that's it and uh, like i said ask me anything you want all right thanks so much for watching and that's it All the best to all of you who are yet to go for the gas. Right. Bye bye. Thanks.